hello everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Megan for those of you who are new here um, today I'm just filming a little um, get ready with me chat I have to take a picture which maybe if I've taken the picture I'll add it at the end of this but yeah I'm just um, getting ready I literally have not put makeup on in almost three weeks now because I haven't really gone anywhere and again I'm not going anywhere but I am taking a picture so I just thought I would do a little chat and update you guys I've been posting a couple like day in my life videos but I really just wanted to have like a little chat with you guys in terms of like how I'm doing how things have changed for me um, what's going on with my two businesses um, just a little bit of everything but yeah so you guys are also like teeter-tottering so hopefully um, it's okay so I'm just gonna like, moisturize my face I also like painted my nails to feel like spring but yeah okay how is it going guys I'm just gonna put like tinted moisturizer on. I'm not gonna go in depth in these because I've already um, like filmed a get ready with me and I use all the same products. So I don't think I need to like go too in depth on everything, but yeah. So what is going on? So we are, I don't even know anymore, day 22 of this COVID-19 lockdown quarantine. Um, I have been self-isolating since March 12th and today, just for reference, is April 6th. So it's been pretty, pretty crazy. I can honestly count on one hand how many times I have been out um, of the house and it's honestly just been to get groceries or to like stop by my parents' house because I get packages um delivered there and yeah i've been trying to get out for like a walk every day we've also done like um some like outdoor workouts that's a lie we've done one outdoor workout otherwise i've just like walked outside and yeah it's been pretty weird i must say um before all this like i'm a very i'm a very extroverted person and i literally struggled with being too busy like every day I had something whether it was plans with friends or meetings or um like social events um yeah I was just always on the go I'm just using this um the Tarte shape tape which I think everyone has but yeah so I was always on the go and you know I honestly like struggled with being like too busy I will admit um I I definitely would like run myself down but um, it's been like a complete 180 for me which has been super weird and it's been a lot to get used to um, okay I'm gonna go back to the beginning so the first week that I did like the full um, like self-isolation where I only went out like once or twice I and that was like to get groceries Oh my gosh, Daniel just texted me and he's like, he just went for a drive to like get some fresh air and like go with the like windows down because he's getting like pretty stir crazy. We were at home all weekend. So he just went for a drive and he was going to see if like Starbucks, um, the drive through was open and I made him order me like a venti ice passion tea lemonade with all these like modifications and he just said like, oh my God. Um, uh, anyways, so yeah the first week honestly it was really hard i think i cried like several times um i just felt like so unmotivated i really thought going into this that i would like i had this mindset of like yeah it's gonna be totally fine like this is gonna give me a chance to do all the stuff that i've wanted to do for so long and um like now i can do it and all this stuff like i had like such a ridiculous mindset when it all started i'm just adding um the arbonne what is it called like translucent powder yeah like setting powder but yeah just do like a little bit um yeah like i just had like such a ridiculous mindset like i was 
not like looking forward to it but i was like this is gonna be great i'm gonna have all the time in the world to do all the things that i keep like putting on the back burner because i am so busy and that's not what happened at all like it was the complete opposite i um was super unmotivated i was very like unproductive which then meant that i was really hard on myself um for being unproductive and like not getting the stuff that I wanted to do done. I couldn't like explain like the way I was feeling. Um, I was very like emotional, just like drained. I was tired all the time, yet I was getting like nine, 10 hours of sleep at, at night. And yeah, it was really weird. Um, so the first week was really bad. I really missed my family. I really missed my friends and it had literally been like days. Like it was ridiculous. And um, yeah, I, you know, I, I took the weekend to chill and I told myself that, okay, I need to create a new routine because this is not sustainable, like feeling like this. And because everything is unknown and we don't know how long this is going to be, I need to figure out something that works for me versus like relying on information. Oh, that's the other thing. I was consumed by the news. Like I don't generally um, follow the news. Um, outside of all of this and I was consumed by it like I was um, reading the news for like hours at a time I was consumed in social media like my screen time was way up like it was just like all around bad so I decided that um, in my day I was gonna accomplish two things I was gonna set two goals for myself they could be big or little but I was just gonna do two things because in my head I was like two things is manageable like I can do it versus giving myself 10 things and not doing any of them and just feeling bad about myself. I also was gonna set like a more laid back routine. So normally like I get up really early in the morning, I do have like a longer morning routine and then I'm like very set on working from like eight to almost six o'clock. And so what I did is I changed my routine. So I would get up like pretty well close to eight, but I was actually trying not to set an alarm, which was kind of nice. Um, I just let my body kind of wake up in the morning. I would come downstairs, I'd make myself a tea, I'd kind of like check emails, but do like mild tasks. And um, yeah, like I wouldn't do like a ton of work. I would just do like whatever I could basically like sitting on the couch, like on my phone, drinking my tea, maybe like watching a vlog, posting something, that kind of thing. By 10 a.m., that's when I would make myself a coffee. I would go upstairs and get ready. And what I mean by get ready is literally just like change out of my um, pajamas or like my my sweat suit, track suit, whatever it's called. Um, I would change out of my pajamas and I would um, put like leggings on. I would probably put like a sports bra on because I was probably gonna try and work out, like a sweater, like I would just change. And that would tell myself that like I'm getting out of my pajama stuff. And then I would brush my teeth, <laughs> um, wash my face. I would take my hair down um, out of the ponytail because um, I sleep with the ponytail. And I would not really put makeup on, but I would, you know, like put moisturizer on, just like um, put a lip mask on, just like feel refreshed. Um, and then I would go to my office and I would work. I also set um, downtime on my phone, which I recently just discovered. So um, you can't actually like get into the apps for, our, for the times that you set, but um, obviously it's, it works similar to like the app limiting things so you can like obviously get in if you need to, but I set it from like 10 to three. So that was gonna be like my work day. Um, and then obviously I would break to have lunch, but in that 10 to three area, that's when I would try and get like those two things that I had like set for myself. And that was kind of like my goal of the day to do those two things. And then as the afternoon came around, I would try and do workouts. So I think I showed this in a vlog maybe, but I actually got a bike from Cyclone. They dropped it off here, so I have that upstairs. So I would either do like a spin class, um, Daniel and I have done like a workout outside, or I would just do something on like YouTube, um, like a HIIT workout or like a yoga flow or something like that. Um, yeah, so I would do that and then I would take like a break and then 
I would cook dinner and then for the night I would make sure that by a certain time whether it was like 6 30 or whatever that I was off my computer and I was done whereas in the past I would cram everything in and I would just like work till I went to bed which is obviously not good by the way I'm just using the Anastasia um, bronzer which I'm like obsessed with but yeah so that is the routine that I developed for myself and honestly I've done it for two weeks now so today is Monday and it's, I'm going into my third week and I'm not joking like it has been a game changer I feel really good I don't feel like that from feeling that I had or like the, that blah feeling um, I do feel productive even though I'm just doing like a couple things um, I feel much happier I've also made it a routine to like FaceTime someone every day whether that's a friend or a family member so like that little bit of interaction has really helped me so yeah that is my long-winded 10 minute routine that I just told you guys about but um, I think like what I'm trying to say here is that so much has changed and it's gonna affect everyone in a different way but you just have to kind of figure out how you're gonna make it work for you because we don't know how this is um, how long this is gonna last and I think it's good to think you know maybe we only have a month left or maybe it's like towards the end of all of this but like we don't really know so instead of like relying on something to be different and like waiting for it to to finish I think it's best to just try and create a routine for yourself right now and do the best that you can and don't be hard on yourself and I think that you know we're all feeling the same way we're all feeling unmotivated we're all feeling like tired confused scared stressed um I, I I'm just at home with Daniel but I'm sure like there's a lot of you know moms out there who are feeling the pressure like having their kids at home and like maybe still having to work like there's so many other scenarios that um could be worse it could always be worse and yeah i think you just have control over your own life and what you can do and so you just have to make the best of it no matter what um you can't have this mentality of like like this sucks or the world is over or like a woe is me mentality because that is gonna drag you down and it's gonna feel pretty crappy so yeah, I think just figure out what works for you, like what makes you happy, what you need right now to feel the best that you can feel given the circumstances and do that. Um, but yeah, that's my little pep talk for you. I'm just doing the like hourglass. Um, I don't even know what it is. It's like a blush, but it has like a bit of um, highlighter in it. But yeah, that's my little spiel for you guys. Um, so I'm doing better. I know I've talked to like a lot of you probably who watch my, oh, I forgot my mascara. I should go get that. But yeah, I've talked to a lot of you so far about everything. Um, and again, like it's, it's common, like everyone's feeling the exact same way. So I'm gonna get my mascara, so hold on. I guess I like bouncing. Okay, um, I've said this before, but I just have the Arbonne mascara. But yeah, but yeah. So that is my little update for you guys in terms of like how I'm feeling mentally and how I'm kind of like getting through this. But yeah, it's just like so surreal. Like I think. I, I'm not the only one, but like Daniel and I talk about it every day. Um, I try and update myself with the news like once a day, and it's honestly usually just like government related news. So, like Trudeau's updates daily just to see like what's going on with the economy, like that side of things. Um, but yeah, we talk about it every day, and it's just like it's so surreal that this is our life right now and that this is going on. And yeah it's just crazy like I don't even know like every time we talk about it we're just like yeah this is crazy but anyways I don't want to talk like too much about it because I'm sure you guys are like all consumed with it um 24 7 on everything else so I'm just gonna keep it light but yeah I just wanted to 
talk to you guys about like how I'm doing and how and what I've done to kind of like feel as best that it as I can during, considering the circumstances. But yeah, what else? Um, okay, business. So Bodhi, which is my I say this all the time, but I'm like a terrible multitasker. Cool. Okay. Um I just want to check the time because I actually have a call at 3 30. It's 3 o'clock. Okay. Bodhi, which is my candle business, is basically at a complete standstill. So the two stores that I most recently announced that were stocking the candle so um living fresh and loft 106 which was uh, so exciting have closed because of covid19 so they are obviously not restocking the candles right now um so that stopped all the markets that i had signed up for including etsy which was my first time getting accepted um has been canceled and not even postponed so um yeah all of those are done i am doing a few like porch deliveries and i'm just making the sales like through instagram um so if people want them they can like e-transfer me and i've been doing like porch drop-offs um but that is it so bodhi is basically on hold mince and poppy we um i said this in my last vlog so i won't go like too in depth but we um we were in the same boat we had a bunch of projects that were about to start and essentially got put on pause because people didn't know like they were literally starting the week that all of this happened and people just um you know it, it, it's the unknown so a lot of things got put on hold but we did recently la launch a promo to try and like help business owners during this time by offering our services to get them online because that's like a huge struggle right now um but we're obviously offering like um discounted pricing and like bundles payment plans to obviously help because there's a lot of financial um struggles right now that are going on so yeah we launched that um we just launched it on the first today is the sixth so um, we've just been like taking meetings for that and figuring all that out. But yeah, it's definitely like slowed down quite a bit, but I think it will get a bit busier because now that this has become our new norm, I think business owners are starting to realize that they do have to have that online presence, at least for right now. And um, it's more common than not, but it's, you know, they, they don't know what to do. So like, I think it will get busier with us like trying to help them and trying to get them online so that they can still be business as usual during all of this and, and not feel like they have to close their doors and just like be closed during this time. So any like a little bit counts, so we'll see. So that is like the business side of things. Um, I don't even know. I'm doing a lot of like my core stuff, so I, I'm doing like a holistic nutrition course. So I've started to like pick that up a bit more because I completely put it on hold. I was like so busy before all this. Um, I'm also doing a um, email marketing um, and blogger bootcamp as well as a like influencer marketing course. So I've picked those up and I'm doing that. I've been reading, been doing a lot of home workouts. But yeah, just like trying to stay busy, but like not overload my schedule, if that makes sense. But it's been weird. Um, I definitely feel cooped up. But like I said, I've been trying to get out every day. I'm going to do my lips red because I'm taking this picture and I want it to be like fun and bold. And my nails are red and I'm like holding a sign. So I think it'll be fun. Bear with me. I hate putting on lipstick because I always feel like I get it everywhere. Like that. Fun. Um, but yeah. 
think I gave you guys all the updates. Um, yeah, I just hope you guys are all doing good and you're staying safe. I hope you guys are all self-isolating. I think it's so important right now. Um, don't go out uh, unless you really need to. Um, and if you do go out, obviously, like sanitize, stay the distance required away from people. Um, I think it's just so important to follow the rules right now because the more we can just like hunker down, stick together, follow the rules, stay in self-isolation, um, the sooner that we'll be able to get a hold of this and it helps all of our healthcare professionals and everything that they're doing. Um, I can't even imagine, honestly, I don't even want to get into that, but I, I literally can't imagine um, what they're going through right now. So yeah, I just think it's so important and yeah, just wanted to check in with you guys. Thank you for getting ready with me. Um, I'm gonna take my picture so you might see it, you might not. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is what's up. I'm gonna go back to my regular schedule, I hope. So this is going out on a Thursday. I posted one on Monday, a day in my life. I'm gonna try and stick to Monday and Thursday. I really have no excuse other than trying to come up with content that you guys actually find interesting. Um, but yeah, that is my plan. So I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much. I love you all. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, all the things, and yeah. Talk to you guys soon.